locked in. Our challenge today, getting this mom's meals back on track with better versions of chicken burritos, meatloaf, and chocolate raspberry cake. Meet Kathy. So I gotta make changes and I gotta start making them now. This busy travel agent works from home, which might be some people's idea of a dream job, but this dream job comes with a heavy problem. Since I work from home, I have easy access to my favorite snack cabinet. S'mores, popcorn, cheese doodles, whatever I want. I just run up here and grab whatever junk I can find to bring downstairs. It really gets me into trouble. And Kathy has a teenage daughter who is not a big fan of her cooking. She's a food snob and doesn't eat anything that I like or my husband likes. I hate to waste food, so if my daughter doesn't finish whatever she's eating, I'll finish it for her because I don't like to throw things in the garbage. Clearly, Kathy needs some help. When I was turning 40, I didn't want to be fat anymore. Fat and 40 doesn't sound good. So now I'm fat and 46, and I don't want to be fat and 50, so I got to start changing things now. So, Kathy, it sounds like you've got a really busy house. Yes, I do. And you're taking care of everybody. Yes, that's all I do. Well, we would love to help you take a little bit better care of yourself. I would appreciate that. <laughs> I could use it. I could Good. use it for once. Well, basically, you're getting a lot of comfort out of these kinds of foods, right? Yes, very much. All right. Well, that's okay. We all go there. Yeah. Trust me. Okay, <laughs> but... The bad thing about this comfort is you're getting over 2,800 calories a day from these meals. Oh, God. Mm. Which is a little bit Yeah, um, on that's the high. way too much. It is, it way is. Way too much. But listen, don't worry about it, because we've all been there, we totally understand, and we have sorted out a plan. Now, tell me what your ideal weight is for a start. Uh, 150. 150, okay. You should therefore consume 10 times that in calories, which is 1,500 calories, roughly, a day. Okay. And that will enable you to drop a dress size and still eat your favorite things if you do it okay. our way. I'm in. And if right. you can do it, I'm in. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes. We can totally do this. All right, let's get started, shall okay, we? Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Kathy, I am making you some delicious chicken and bean burritos with a pineapple salsa. How great. does that sound? Great. Sounds great. You won't miss your heavy burrito with Candace's version. So what we're going to do is we're going to start poaching this chicken two bone-in breasts with skin on. Okay. Now, poaching is a really low-fat way to cook yeah, I would never meals. Have, I would never have thought of that. It's amazing. We just need about two inches above the meat. It cuts out the calories. It cuts out the fat. It's super easy and simple to do. We're also going to add these carrots. Great. A little bit of garlic. Bay leaf. And some peppercorns. Great. We're going to bring the heat up to a light simmer. We're not going to overdo this on a rapid boil or mm -hmm. anything. OK. So we're going to cover that, and we're just going to let it go and walk away. I'm going to start making a beautiful black bean mix that we're going to put on top of our burrito. OK, great. So I'm going to add some corn to this pan, and I'm just going to have this heated up until it browns. We're going to put these black beans right in here, a little bit of jalapeno pepper, why don't you pinch a little bit of cayenne in there as well? Great. And then Allison over here is going to help us with our pineapple salsa. This is actually a whole pineapple chopped up. Here is some chopped red onion. I love these two colors together, the yellow and the purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our last item for this is a roasted red pepper. We're going to finish off this bean mixture, which I'm going to show you the last few things you want to do. You want to squeeze a little lime in there. And then cilantro. OK, so Ali's going to add a little bit of cilantro to that Ooh, salsa yum. as well. OK, I'm pulling this guy off the heat right now. So we do have that great color. Beautiful. Look at how vibrant these are. Your food's got to be, like, absolutely stunning. It can't be bland and boring. That's amazing. And, and am I right, Candace, so far? No oil? No oil. When we told you we're going to give you 1,500 calories and pack it, that's how. We leave out the oil and add lots of other wow. flavors. Yes, and we're great. not putting that's any great. fat in there. It's all about making different choices. Right. We're still giving you your favorite foods. We're just making them better for you. All right, Kathy, our chicken's poached. Allison, you are going to do some shredding. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you can remove the skin. Say goodbye, because that is not what we are I was very surprised that you cook it with the skin on. It's like a moisture barrier. Yeah, just make sure that you're not going to put it in your food. Yeah, right. bye-bye. Okay. That's usually the best part, though. So I just added some diced tomatoes from the can okay. with a little bit of garlic. So you're starting the filling now. We can slowly start adding that in here. 
We're just gonna cook it for a little while. Yum. That oh, looks great. So a little cayenne pepper, you wanna do a little pinch in here? Hey, is it burrito time? It's burrito Let's time. Do it. Okay. These are whole wheat tortillas. We're gonna start assembling. If you want, you can add a little bit of cheese on here, so I'm just gonna do a baby bit. Is that a low-fat really, cheddar cheese? It's a low-fat cheddar, okay. right. These are gorgeous. Look at how healthy and fun this wonderful. is. wonderful. When you're eating wonderful. good food, you're not sacrificing anything. You actually feel better yes. about what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to jump in? I am. Mm. Oh, my. Mm. Oh. Mm. That, that is good. great. This is wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Good. Oh, so I'm going to hit you with some numbers, Kathy. Okay. Your old burrito that you had before, I know it was great, but it was great. packing 1,179 calories. Oof. That's almost what you need in your daily value, yeah. like your daily intake. So this burrito, good. we took it down to 448 calories. Wow, that's great. I can't wait. Yay. I can't wait to make it when I'm the girls so come home. They're going to love this. Yes. It's absolutely beautiful, and this is going to keep you on track, I promise. When you get the burrito craving, yes. just remember. <laughs> Kathy doesn't know that she can still eat her favorite dishes without putting on the pounds. Nothing like it. We're showing her how it's done. We cut the calories from her burritos, and now we're going to make over her meatloaf. I'm so excited to show you this turkey meatloaf because it's the kind of comfort food that keeps the comfort here yeah. and here, if you know what I mean. I've never had ground turkey. Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, oh well, welcome to the first day of the rest of your turkey life. Turkey is Thanksgiving. I, that's it. That's when I... Really? Yeah, I never even think of buying that. Ground turkey is one of our favorite cook yourself thin ingredients because it has less fat and we've got so many tricks for how to pack it with flavor. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, well, first trick's happening right over there. Yeah, this is just an onion which we've diced to flavor the turkey. And the next ingredient I'm going to put to the pan is spinach. Do you like spinach? Love it. My daughters oh. love it. They it's do? A, yes, yes. Wonderful. That's one thing they do love is spinach. Well, listen, in that case, you should be sneaking it in. I know. I do. I try. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a little bread. Bread also acts as a binder. And this is just day-old bread. So now that you've got the bread in the bowl with the turkey, here is half a cup of skim milk keeping it really nice and moist. A few more ingredients, an egg, and a little nutmeg. And again, you know, when you're cooking yourself thin, you want to keep those comfort foods that you love with just a few small changes that actually make them better for you. That good? Perfect. That's perfect amount of nutmeg, and you can still hold that fine grater for a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just going to season it with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. All right, Harry, that looks great. It looks so much nicer when there's some color in it, too. Absolutely. All right, now for the fun part. Ready? We told you we were making a turkey meatloaf. This is actually a turkey mini meatloaf. Oh, so that's what we're going to do is actually take these little small one cup measuring cups okay. and dunk out four portions. Portion control is absolutely at the heart of cooking yourself thin. And I'm from old school, whereas you finish everything on your plate. Uh, so if there's not as much on your plate, you're good to go. All right, so a really great part of good meatloaf is that really good sauce you have on yes. top. Give this one a try. This is actually just ketchup, brown sugar, and hot sauce. And look at that. Have you ever seen such a colorful meatloaf? It's beautiful. So they're good to go. We're going to do a roasted vegetable. Oh, okay, that's great. I lo we love roasted vegetables. A little bit of potato, a little bit of carrot, all tossed in a tiny bit of olive oil. This is asparagus. Do you like asparagus? I have never had it. Oh, my god! Really? Okay. Yeah. Criminal never <laughs> to have had it. I'm so glad that we're introducing you to it. Okay, here goes. If you bend it like this, there's a point at which it will just naturally snap. Okay. That's what, that's what you keep, and this is what you throw away. Okay. okay. That's easy enough. It's very easy. It's actually, I think, quite good fun as well, because it's good for releasing tension. Ah, thank you very much. Because I want to show you how to cut them nice and thin on the buyers. And the point of cutting them on the buyers finely like this is that they're then going to cook evenly. So why don't you have a go and show me sure. how? I can't wait to try them because I've never, I never make them and now I guess I'll start buying them. I can't tell you how they excited smell good. I am that you Just are trying. Just cutting up, they smell good. You can smell them. They're so delicious. They're so easy. They're so good for you. They literally are an absolute must. Love the colors going on here. Gorgeous. Do you want some salt and pepper on there? Yes, please. 
Okay. Time for the oven, huh? No, I love these double wall ovens because you can have two things going at different temperatures. So these meatloaves are going in at 375. And my vegetables are going in at 400. All right. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, they look fabulous. They look great. Little awesome. minis. Mmm. Can't wait. They look wonderful. I can't wait to try them. There Thank you. you. How there delicious. You look at that nice glaze, too. Mmm. Mm hmm Oh, my God. This is fabulous. Wow. Oh, it's delicious. delicious. I am so glad this you like it. I'm not kidding. This is great. Wow. Ready for this? Your old meatloaf and mashed potatoes, 1,140 calories. Oh, wow. This dish, turkey meatloaf and all these beautiful vegetables, 347. That's a difference. Isn't That's it? like three times. It's outrageous. Gosh, well, I'll tell you what, I know which one I'm choosing. I know, me too. Sure. Me too. Kathy is a constant snacker who deserves a good meal. I don't eat anything healthy during the day. We've given her a healthy burrito, a better meatloaf, and now we'll cut the calories from her favorite chocolate raspberry cake. This is a chocolate roulade with raspberry puree recipe. Oh God. Doesn't it sound good? Yes. So let's get going. Now, the first thing I'd like you to do for me, please, Kathy, is to grate me some carrots onto the end of that board. I thought you said we're doing chocolate. We are doing chocolate, and the carrot is a secret ingredient to help cut the calories and up the texture. Harry's got ways that you can have your cake and eat it, too. Now, I want the egg whites, please, to be separate from the yolks. You got it. Thank you very much. Okay. So what we're going to do is put the egg white and the sugar in this bowl here. Okay. Lovely. And then we're going to switch that on. And whilst you're doing that, I'm going to just beat this mixture, which is just a little sugar and the egg yolk. As you can see, they have really, really thickened up. Next up goes in the cocoa powder, as well as the carrots. It's that really fine grade yes. that Harry does yeah. that makes all the difference in the world. Now, I'm just going to make a noise for a quick second. Okay. There we are. And now, take a third of the egg white mixture and quite brashly beat it. Second third is nice and gentle. Now, we're ready for the third and final addition. As I'm doing that, I'm also going to add the flour, and this is going to alter the texture of the roulade. I'm doing it little by little, because if you dump it all in one go, it really will just knock out too much of the air. Perfect. Let's go over to this tin, which is ready. I've got two sheets of parchment. One is for this, and one is for later. There we go. You just tip it over. What I'm doing here is I'm making sure that the roulade has gone to the edges of the tin. OK, and it's even. And now I'm just going to put it in the oven at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. Wow, that's okay. quick. There we go. We are going to turn our attention to the raspberry puree. So now, a little bit of water in the bottom, a little bit of sugar in the bottom. That's just to sweeten it up a little bit. Add the raspberries. This is going to cook down really quickly. OK, we're nearly there. There we go. Oh, it looks great. I'm so surprised how much juice you're getting out of it. Oh, this is tons. You're going to get much, much more even than that. What I love about raspberries is they're full of vitamin C yeah. and antioxidants, and they're just like, you feel good fruits, you know? Oh, they're completely. good for you. It's like happy food, yeah. you know? This is the kind of food that's going to make you happy, not going to make you feel bloated or full, because no. I bet you that your chocolate cake is yeah. like... And not make you feel guilty yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Ooh, yummy. I need to take this out onto the deck. That's the shape you're after. OK. So now it's very happy to take on a little bit of cream and some raspberries. Now, the important thing here is remember, don't overfill it or it will just bulge out everywhere. It looks fabulous. <laughs> Why don't you toss over the raspberries, literally just liberally chuck them over the top, and we're going to roll it up again. Exactly. Let's roll it like this. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Oh, that looks great. 
Now, could I have some plates, please, Candice? Because we are ready, ready for this. This is looking fantastic. Thank you. Okay. to try it. This is perfect for the chocoholics, so you and I are right in the front of the queue, aren't we? And a little bit of oh. raspberry puree. This is where it really this is decadent. OK, here goes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, God. That is so good. How delicious is that? that? Oh. Now, listen, major news here. Your old chocolate cake that I saw earlier is worth 569 calories a slice. A oh, slice. my Lord. OK, take a deep breath. This delicious chocolate roulade with raspberry puree is only 214. I'm shocked. It's absolutely phenomenal. She took it less than half, too. Well, we've had a wonderful day with you, and this is a little going-away basket for you. And we've each put in a few items from our recipes. We've also packed you our Cook Yourself Thin cookbook that can help you with all the recipes that you need to cook yourself thin. What we saw earlier today on that table was almost 2,900 calories. <sighs> Everything we've made today is just over 1,000 calories. I can't believe that. Wow. I wasn't, I wasn't adding it up, but that's unbelievable. Oh, thank you so much, all of you. Pleasure. And listen, we are looking forward to seeing you in six weeks' time. We're hoping to see you in a new dress and having dropped a dress size. Or two. Or two. Or two. OK, bring I'm it on. Two. <laughs> <laughs> We've revamped Kathy's guilty pleasures without the guilt by cutting the calories from her favorite burritos, meatloaf and chocolate raspberry cake. It's been six weeks. Think she's dropped a dress size? Hello, ladies. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Scott, Kathy's husband. Come Hi. on in. Thank you. Hi, I'm Allison. Nice, nice to meet nice you. To meet Pleasure. You. Come on Thank in. Thank you. Come right this way, ladies. Thank you. Have a seat. You. She'll be with us in a few minutes. Though. Does she look good? I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, so. we can't either. Enough of this chit chatter. <laughs> Kathy, we want to see you now. Kathy, where are you? Where are you? Oh, yeah. you oh. look Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, my Lord. Wow, oh my you God. just look so good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Kathy, how has this experience been for you? Great. Great. I eat totally different now, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> it's, it's, uh... He has no choice. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been cooking? I can't stop making meatloaf. It's good everybody meatloaf. Everybody loves it. And even my daughter, Mackenzie, even with the spinach in it, and I've made the burritos. And we like those, and it's all been great. I know that you look great, but I want to know how do you feel, great. Kathy? Great, great. I'm up every morning at what time? About five a.m. Five o'clock in the morning, morning. I'm up day. walking, and you know. So your energy's gone through the roof. Yes. You feel a lot better. Yes. You look awesome. Thank you, Kathy. Have you dropped a dress size? Yes. With the nine pounds, I've gone from a 14 jeans to a 12, which Goodness. I just bought on Saturday. Wow, we brand new jeans. That's a good feeling. Yes, very Fantastic. good. Very good. In just six weeks, Kathy dropped a dress size. Now that's cooking yourself thin. Scott, I'm wondering, have you lost any weight? Well, I've actually lost 11 pounds. No! You are sneaky, wow. only to tell us now. I would have had you doing a dress Well, it's not now. my gig. This is not my gig. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. Don't you kind of want to give him one of these for losing the 11? <laughs> yeah. I fought it all my life, saying I'm not going to do this, and I didn't realize how easy it was until I got to eat the recipes. I mean, it's just, right, it's like, you know, it's mindless. The bottom line is it tastes good. Right. It, it, it's amazing. And the best thing is, everybody's being taken care of, and I'm taking care of myself for once. I'm picking the food I want, I'm making the food that I want, and they're all eating it, and they're not complaining. <laughs> and they love it. I mean, not only is she taking care of herself, but by taking care of herself, She's actually taking care of the family as well. We are so happy for you and you. Great, thank you so much. Okay, these guys are getting missed yet. Yeah, we have a hand. She looks phenomenal. Can you see this belt that's getting, but not, you can, uh, can you see, see the old tent? 